ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Steady, and today we're checking out probably the most sophisticated and also the most expensive gaming mouse I have ever tested. It's this guy right here, the Swiftpoint Z. And it's a very interesting gaming mouse, and I will be giving this mouse away at the end of the video. So I'll let you guys know how you can do that then. But yeah, let's jump into it then with the key features. And the first thing to note is that this is actually designed in New Zealand. So God bless. That's a good thing. <laughs> Although it's made in China still. Now, as far as the difficulty of reviewing this mouse goes, it gets a 10 out of 10. Because it's so complicated, this is the hardest mouse review I have ever done. But I'm going to try my best. So let me know in the comment section down below if I've missed anything. Now the first thing we need to do is attach the extra buttons because it comes with uh, two sets of different buttons you can attach to what they call the fingertip buttons uh, and also the trigger buttons. So you need to attach them on. And after you've done that, this is sort of two different types of, sort of smaller ones and bigger ones. Then you have to grasp the concept that this has an inbuilt accelerometer, gyroscope, force sensor and tactile feedback so that allows gestures like tilting the mouse side to side or forward and back if you want to allows you to pivot the mouse left or right which can activate whatever gestures you set and the force sensor allows for like deep clicking which can you know do separate things as well which is quite cool this is just all going to be good for if you're playing racing games, you're playing flying games or things like that. You can use the what they call the flight stick extender to basically turn it into a joystick of some sort, which is quite a cool idea. And that'd be awesome for flying games. It means you don't have to have like a separate joystick or anything like that. So that's really nice. And it also has adjustable mouse feet, which then makes you able to adjust the tilting. If you want it to be very uh, sensitive, you can, and not so sensitive, you move them you know, closer in or to the outside, which is quite cool. But yeah, there's a lot to this gaming mouse. But let's first start with the looks then, because that's the first thing, you know, when you look at this mouse. I'm going to say I like the look of it. Uh, I, I truly do. It has a kind of like a complicated look to it that is usually reserved for those crazy looking MMO type mouse uh, but I would say it's 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 it does it in like a cool way it also has an LCD display on the side which uh, I've seen on a few mice now I don't really get the point of them but it's there and at the price point this is coming in at you may as well have all the bells and whistles while you're at it it's also RGB lighting on the back there where the logo is which looks quite nice and for the most part I think it is a nice looking mouse it's a good looking gaming mouse in a sort of complicated type way now as far as comfort goes it's a very comfortable gaming mouse once you get it set up correctly and I have quite large hands remember so it's, it's easy to grip too, it's got sort of like these rubberized pads on the sides in different spots, so that's quite good. Your hand sits really nicely on it, although you're very aware that there's buttons sort of like underneath your fingers, and that you can't really move your hand uh, too much around the mouse without uh, potentially doing an accidental click. So that's something you're kind of always aware of in the back of your mind, but aside from that, the actual comfort itself is is very nice and i have no complaints really it's it's just very straightforward it's just one of those things you have to be aware of when using this mouse also like an mmo type mouse you just have to be aware when using it that there's a lot of buttons there for you to hit now as far as the sensor goes it's coming with the 5g pixar pmw 3360 sensor which goes up to a whopping 12,000 dpi this thing is absolutely fantastic in games and everything i've done is very very accurate I had no issues with it. I ran it at 3000 uh, DPI on my 28 inch 4K display and it was perfect. So I have no issues there. The sensor is very, very good and you won't have any complaints. Now we get to the buttons and the scroll wheel and this is where it gets complicated. So we'll start with the right and left click because that's sort of the easiest. They have very nice feedback. They're nice and clicky. I like the feel of them. Also they have the deep click there so you can set that up if you want. And if you sort of look on your finger with the joints, your finger is basically split up into uh, thirds, more or less. 
And so the, your right and left click is done by your uh, first, the, the tip, the sort of end of your finger, that uh, first third you might say. Then behind them you have the fingertip buttons, which they say you should use with your fingertips, but I found that they're actually quite nice to use with the middle of your finger, that sort of middle third. You can use that part of your finger to uh, push down the uh, trigger buttons, or the fingertip buttons I should say, and they also click very easily. Then behind them you have the trigger button, and that's for the sort of base of your finger, that last third there, and you can use those. But not only do they push down, you can use your fingertips and sort of pull back on them as well. So they have two functions on each side, which is also another good feature there. And they, they're quite cool too. What that means is you can have a lot of different settings on this mouse without even having to move your fingers around. You can have your two fingers laying across this gaming mouse like normal, and you can hit all of those buttons in every different way if you want to. So that is quite cool. Up on the front left, you have two more buttons. I would probably just leave those as DPI adjustment buttons. That's nice and easy, although you definitely could set them to something else if you really needed to. By your thumb, you have the usual forward and back buttons. You can also set them for something else if you like. The scroll wheel is on the stiffer side of things, although it's got a nice position to it. Uh, I still think it felt really good, although it is a little bit on the stiff side. And putting it all together, what does it mean? And with the tilting and stuff added in. So I played Rainbow Six Siege and I set this up in the way I thought would be the most practical to me anyway. So I set up all the different buttons for doing different things. I set the fingertip buttons to, you know, adjust uh, crouching and going prone. And I set up the uh, trigger buttons there for do different things like melee, uh, throwing grenades, uh, reloading and things like that. So that's good. Tilting was nice. I could use that to actually tilt in the game, you know, lean either way, which is quite a cool thing. And actually, you'd think it might be a bit gimmicky to use, but it's very, very smooth and actually really nice. And once I got into it, it was really good. And that's what I'd say. This is a gaming mouse. You really need to think of where you could apply some of these features that it has. Which game to you? Like a simulator or something like that would be very good, or an MMR. And once you do, it's very, like, like once you get into it and you get used to it, uh, you do really like it, and it's kind of hard to go back. So, yeah, in that sense of things, it is really nice, and I did like it. And once you get it all set up, uh, it is really good. Now, setting it all up, you have to use this software, the SwiftPoint software. I would say the software is about as complicated as the gaming mouse is. However, it's laid out in quite a uh, simple way away so th the layout is uh, simple but there's just so much to the software there's so much adjustments you can do obviously you can change so much in it um, but it is quite straightforward it does take a little while to get used to but once you do it's it's very easy and you can set it up exactly how you like if you want the, the pivot to do anything or if you're wanting you know the tilting setting all that up it's it's very straightforward just remember you might need to go into your game as well and change some of the settings in there um, to get the sort of feature you want. So that's quite good. Which brings us to the conclusion then. And what do I make of the Swift Point Z? So price-wise, it's coming in at 229 US dollars or a staggering 300 New Zealand dollars. So that is a huge price tag. It is by far the most expensive gaming mouse I have ever tested. But at the same time, this is by far the most sophisticated gaming mouse I have ever tested. It is packed with so many features and so much technology that you can understand the price because it's just so far ahead of any other gaming mouse in terms of the technology that you get with it. That being said though, do I recommend it? And I would say yes. This mouse won the Best Innovation 2017 award at CES, and for good reason. It has a good sensor, it's comfortable, and it's just loaded with features. But I would say that you really need to think about it first. Not only because of the price, but also will you be able to take advantage of the features of this gaming mouse. I think people that play simulator type games or MMOs or maybe even a hardcore FPS player, or professional users that have a certain program they use that could really take advantage of some of these features, those people will really like this gaming mouse. 
And that's who I would recommend it for. People that can think, hey, I can take advantage of some of these features, or oh, it would be perfect for this application. Those are the people that need to look at this gaming mouse. For those more average consumers out there that are just looking for a good gaming mouse, I would say it's probably not for you, given the huge price tag and the fact that you probably won't be able to take advantage of many of the features out there. But for those who will, it's very, very good. Now, with that being said, you can be in to win this gaming mouse. And it's very, very simple. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Just follow me and in you know a few weeks time, I'll just go through my Twitter followers. I'll pick one of you guys at random and, uh, and we'll get this mouse sent out to you. So very, very simple. Link in the description, check it out. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> it was a big one for a mouse and it was very difficult for me to do. So I hope you guys appreciate it by hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. I did that around the wrong way, I'm sorry. And liking the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.